Hello and welcome to IGCSE Mathematics 0580 extended course. In this video, we will be discussing syllabus topic E1, which is about number module 1.1 part 5. Right, in question number 4, he just told us a diagram in which there is a square in which you have a circle. Uh, just uh, forget my uh, bad drawing. Uh, I hope you understand because you have a book in front of you so you can see the question clearly. So in a part he says, I mean, again, you just need to find out either it's a rational or irrational. In the A part, you just need to find out the circumference of the circle. So the formula for the circumference of the circle is 2 pi and r, and r in this case is 3. So you have 6 pi. So 6 pi is an irrational number. In part B, it says the diameter of the circle. The diameter of the circle is the 2r, which is 2 times of radius, which is 3. So diameter is 6, which is a rational number. In part C, it says the area of the square. See guys, for the area of the square, of course, if it is a, a radius, so it means this is a radius as well. This is 3, right? So it means that uh, this is 3 and this is 3. So it means that you have 6 here. And of course, this is 3 and this is 3 as well. So you have all sides of 6 here, 6, 6 and 6. So in the C part, it's saying the area of the square. So you just need to multiply the two lengths, which is 6 into 6. So the area would be equals to 36, which is a rational number. In part D, it says the area of the circle. Area of the circle formula is pi r square. So pi and r is 3, so 3 square. So you have 9 pi and 9 pi is an irrational number. In part E, it says the shaded region. For the shaded region, it is asking to find out the area of this shaded region. So in that case, you need, look, the shaded region will be, shaded region SR will be equals to uh, area of square minus area of circle. So if you subtract the whole area, which is the square minus area circle, so you only left left with this uh, shaded region. So area of uh, circle is 36 and area of uh, square is uh, 9 pi. So once again, 36 minus 9 pi is an irrational number. In question number five, it says, think of two irrational number x and y such that x over y is a rational number. It's a little technique in it. Just think of two irrational number. When you divide them, that should make a rational number. Now, when you have to take two irrational number, of course, you will take two irrational number with the under root in it, non-square number, right? So that will make the two irrational number in, in the form of x over y. Now, just think, when they just simplify, it should be a rational number. It means that number will come out of the under root. It means that when you divide these two numbers, the resultant number must be a square number. Just think what I'm saying. What I'm saying, when you divide these two numbers, that the result, whatever the result comes, that must be a square number so that it will take, it will cancel out the under root. What I'm saying is, let's suppose if I take 32 here, which is an irrational number, and 8 here, which is an irrational number once again, if you solve them two out, it, it will come out in a single under root like that. Right. Now here you will have 8 for the 32 and under root 4. Under root 4 is 2. So 2 is a rational number while under root 32 and 8 are two irrational number. So the technique is simple. I was just looking for the number 4 inside. Let's suppose this time I'm targeting number 9 inside, which is a square number, and that will come out as 3. So in order to be 9, it means that these two numbers I'm taking here and here must cancel out at the table of 9 to each other, right? So that, that is a trick. What I'm saying, these two numbers must cancel out to make 9 to each other. It means that if I take 45 and 5, Look, 45 under root and 5 under root both are irrational number. But once you solve, solve out 45 over 5, so 5 9 are 45, you have 9 under root, which is, which is 3, which is a rational number. 
So you can just think of so many, so many numbers, but the technique is simple. Just look for these square numbers, look for four, and you can just think of any other two number that makes four by cancelling out, but it should be a non-square number. So it should be an irrational number. That is the requirement of the question. In question number six, it says explain the difference between a rational number and an irrational number. So we have discussed a lot. I hope you would answer the question. Um, it's straight away the definition of these two rational and rational number. In question number seven, A part, it says, is it possible to multiply a rational number and an irrational number to give answer which is rational number? So let's suppose if I take a, a irrational number 15 and if I multiply with some rational number three, let's suppose, so it will be three under root 15. So it still remains the irrational number. So answer is no, it's not possible if you multiply a rational number to an irrational number to make a rational number, so it's not possible. In part B, it says, is it possible to multiply two irrational numbers to, to uh, numbers together to give a rational number? So once again, yes, it is uh, pretty much possible. Let's suppose if you multiply under root 12, which is an irrational, irrational number, to a num number, let's suppose three, which is an, again is irrational number. If you multiply it together, it will be let's bring them together in single under root so it will be under root 36 and it will be 6 so it is a rational number so technique once again is again uh, the same technique what we are using that try to think of uh, a square number and just think of two numbers of uh, non-square number to make 36 if you multiply them together so it will be 12 and uh, 3 you come across so many other number as well just think of like 49 25 might not be possible think of 16 yes it is quite possible 16 let's suppose quickly so it will be under root 8 which is irrational number and under root 2 which is again irrational number multiplied together it will be under root 16 and it will be 4 so it, it is a rational number so answer b is yes it is possible any answer answer c is if either uh, or both are possible given examples so have given an example in the next video we will be starting E1.2 sets, so see you there.